Coloring an embossed panel always ends up looking gorgeous. Today I will share a loose watercolor project with you. Stay tuned. Hi there, welcome to Creative Coloring with Iram. I had so much fun coloring this dry embossed panel and it's a good thing I recorded the process too because it is really easy to color and I would love for you to give it a try. I will be using the newly released Sunflower Bundle 3D embossing folder and I went ahead and embossed an A2 watercolor cardstock. Look at how gorgeous this looks, isn't it? So beautiful. Love the details on the Altenews 3D embossing folders. I'm always in awe. I'm using the Artist Watercolor 24 pan set. I will first apply water to the flower, just the petals. And this I will do very generously. I will apply a light color wash of pocket full of sunshine pigment, which is the lightest yellow pan in the artist's watercolor pan set. While I'm applying this pigment, I will not be very careful to stay within the lines so that I get a diffused loose watercolor look. Once the light color is on there, the next pigment that I will add is summer afternoon, a warmer yellow. This I will add closer to the flower center. I will dab the brush and add pigment outwards only on some petals so that there is a little bit of difference. I will also add a dab of this pigment on the petals that are underneath the first layer of petals. Doing this will create four dimension. Since there is a lot of watery pigment and the layer is still wet, the paints will flow into the grooves and this will not be noticeable till we add darker, more prominent colors. So now I will uh, take Fiery Sunset, which is a light orange pigment. I will add this next to the flower center and you will see that it will flow into the warm sunshine pigment, which is still wet, giving us a gorgeous transition. And now I will leave this and work on the flower that is furthest from the one that I just colored so that in the meantime it dries a bit. It will prevent the colors of the two flowers from mixing and flowing into each other and we will still have the lighter edges or tips. You could use your heat tool but I don't want to lose the loose watercolor look as you know that drying between layers kind of seals the paint. So the next layer you will add over it will be more prominent and I don't want that. I'm aiming for a more uh, looking through a frosted glass look. I will show you one more flower that I colored a little differently because I wanted it more yellow than orangey, a little more lighter. I'll start the same way by applying water generously to the petals. Then again, I will drop in a very light yellow pigment and cover all the petals, all the nooks and crannies. But this time, I will add a warmer yellow pigment the summer afternoon. I will only add this like I added the fiery sunset pigment, the orange pigment on the first flower, just next to the flower center. And on this wet pigment, I will add fiery sunset pigment, which I'm going to just drop in and let it flow on its own. So I added a lot of yellow and a very little of orange. This will create a different look for the flower and uh, it will, uh, because it's in the center, it will also pop up a little bit more. I will then move on to the leaves without waiting for the flowers to dry. I will color the leaves in the same manner. First I'll apply water to the leaf then apply a light color wash of rainforest pigment and spread it outwards to the tip of the leaf. You can color one leaf at a time and then move on to the next, but I'm coloring both the leaves that are next to each other together. I will make sure I add more concentrated pigment of the rainforest near the base of the leaves. Then I will drop in tropical forest pigment on the base of the leaves and let it spread on its own, moving and flowing into the grooves, just like I did with the flowers. For the flower center, I will again apply water and then add a light color of fall harvest to the area. 
The next color to go on the flower center is Delectable Delights and spread it out. I don't really care if it flows into the flower, in fact it looks really cool. The next color I will add is Coffee Break. This will be super concentrated and I will add it in a way to form a dome like shape. If I need to add lighter browns at this moment, I will go back in and do so. Just to blend that Coffee Break a little bit and to create that dome like shape. Now I will go back to the leaves and add a bit of green meadows pigment to the base as they look a little bit flat. Especially compared to the flower center because that looks very really, very cool. For the background I will go with a light color wash of green. You can leave this as is, dry the panel, adhere it to the card base, pop sentiment and you are good to go. But I just wanted to see how far I can take this. So I started to add a background color. For this I mixed the green with the brown and started to apply the pigment first as diluted paint and then slowly build it up. I keep the concentration more where the floral outline was and I drop the paint as puddles really and let it flow. Once I was happy with the look I used my heat tool to dry the panel. I especially love the brown seeping into the petals, it looks gorgeous. After drying the panel, I added splatters of the green and brown color mix and I also added a few orange ones. Then I dried the panel again. Next I embossed the panel again so that I could get back any lost dimension and it does make a lot of difference. We don't realize it but the water flattens the panel quite a bit. I then added very fine black paint splatters and let the panel dry. And that's it, I popped a heat embossed sentiment and my card is ready. I truly enjoyed colouring it and it looks really gorgeous, especially in person, it looks absolutely beautiful. If you try this, don't forget to tag me at Glitter and Souls and Altenew at Altenew LLC on Instagram. Thank you for watching, bye! Hello there, did that video just spark your creativity? And do you want more project ideas and inspiration videos too? Well, if you do, please make sure that you subscribe to the Altenew YouTube channel. Also, make sure that you do click that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thanks so much for watching, bye-bye.